What's up? Uh, it's Ray, and uh, I really um, wanted to give everybody an update on on a few things. A few things have happened. <laughs> Uh, on the Big 20, first of all, on the, I guess, the big news after that, which was that I got sick, and my future plans. So hopefully <clears throat> I could bring some clarity. I know I've been disappeared for a while, not even before the Big 20 and all this other stuff happened. I know I've kind of been MIA, so I kind of want to sort of explain what's going on. <laughs> um... First of all, uh, in case you didn't know, uh, I had been recently diagnosed with COVID-19. I was diagnosed, I took a test on Sunday, March 14th, and I got my results back on the 15th and I was positive. Let me first start off by saying, giving everybody my deepest gratitude. I had so many people reach out to me and send me messages and and just have so many nice things to say and, and be very supportive and I just want to say to everybody uh, thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart it means so much to me to know that there's so many people out there <clears throat> that uh that care and stuff so it, it really does mean everything to me so thank you all so much from the bottom of my heart I really really appreciate it uh, I guess let's give let's give a timeline <laughs> I like timelines. So let's go all the way back to March 9th. Uh, that whole week, that week before the Big 20. Uh, that week, in case you didn't know or whatever, the weekend before that, Friday and Saturday, I did two full runs. I did a full run on Friday the 5th and then Saturday the 6th I did another full run. So I wanted to take Sunday off, which was the 7th, just to kind of take a break so I don't have three days in a row doing full runs because they're four hour runs. I mean, it's very, very tiring for me. Um, so I was, but the plan was I was going to do at least two more, two more full runs during the week. And it was going to be probably like, I wanted to do it Monday, but I thought, well, realistically, like I maybe do Tuesday, Thursday. So Monday came around and I'm like, yeah, let's. It's Monday. I don't really feel like, you know, I don't really feel like doing it. Uh, I'll take another day off. I'll do it Tuesday, Thursday. So Tuesday came around, and Tuesday was the ninth of March. And Tuesday was kind of the first day that I I started to feel kind of weird. I started to feel like I'm usually very tired and fatigued because of work and lack of sleep and stuff like that. But I kind of felt that way that Tuesday. And it didn't really make sense because I'd gotten sleep and stuff, and I would I wasn't really exerting myself too much physically, but yet I was still very tired. So I said, "Well, you know, we'll we'll skip the full run today. We'll do we'll do the full run Wednesday. We'll do like Wednesday Friday." So on Wednesday the tenth came around, and I felt even weaker and more fatigued on Wednesday. So I was. Uh, I thought, well, damn, man, I, I'm feeling really tired. I'm just going to rest as much as I can. I don't want to push anything or force anything. Thank goodness I didn't. Well, up to that point. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm going to try to do it Thursday, Thursday the 11th. I have to do at least one more full run. I can't just go into the Big 20 with two full runs. I've never done that before. Like the least amount of full runs I've ever done for a tournament is like five or six. And that to me felt like a little bit. So Thursday came around and I was very convinced that I was going to do it Thursday, and if not Thursday, then absolutely 100% for certain I was going to do it on Friday. I had to do one more one more full run. So Thursday came around, and that was the 11th of, thir of Thursday, of March. And March 11 was kind of the first day I started feeling actual symptoms. Uh, Thursday, I started coughing a lot. I was coughing like this really annoying, dry cough, like the whole day, like, <laughs> like the whole day. And it was it was aggravating. It wasn't. I didn't feel sick. I, I didn't feel bad. I just had this really annoying cough. So I figured, man, if I have to talk during the stream, I'm just gonna be coughing through the whole stream, and that's gonna be annoying. So let me take some cough medicine and stuff like that. And then hopefully, Friday, I don't have this annoying cough. I'm gonna have to maybe not do cam and mic on Friday and do my full run like that. 
So, and I still felt weak and fatigued though. I mean, I did a lot of offline practice all these days anyway, just because I didn't stream, I did offline practice. Not as much as I wanted to, and just overall for this entire Big 20, I just didn't practice nearly as much as I wanted to for one reason or another. So that was Thursday. So the 12th, which is the day before the Big 20, the Friday, uh, I went to work that day totally convinced that I was going to stream at night or during the day or something just to get a full run in because I, I felt like I had to. I need to get one more full run in. So uh, that day I worked. I didn't feel bad. I still felt tired, but I, I wasn't sick or anything like that. When I got home on Thursday, I took a look. I don't remember if I took a nap that day, but I remember kind of just feeling like, man, I don't have, I don't have the energy. I don't, I don't, I don't have it in me to, to do it. I, I can't stream a full run. I don't think I, I, I'm too tired. I just don't feel like I have the energy to do it. So what I decided to do on Friday is like, okay, well at the very least, I'm going to practice every single game, even if I don't do it like consecutively but I'll do a game and then I'll do another one and I won't do it like a full timer. And I think I got to like Kickmaster and I just, I couldn't do it. I had to stop. I did not have the energy to do it. I, I could not, and I wasn't even doing anything. I was just sitting here playing games. I wasn't like running or anything like that, but I was so tired. I just wanted to lay down. So that's when I kind of started realizing that this might this might be a problem. This is going to put the the big 20 in jeopardy for me because I don't feel well and my energy levels are low and this requires a lot of focus and energy. This is a 4 hour plus run potentially. So Saturday comes around which is big 20 day and I wake up and I feel so much worse. I don't feel well at all. Uh, I wake up at about 10 a.m. The race is at 1 p.m. Eastern. So I wake up and immediately I have to run to the bathroom. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give you TMI. I'm just gonna tell you that I had a lot of urgency <laughs> to go to the bathroom about three times in a 20-minute span. So by about 11 o'clock, I had gone to the bathroom about three, three separate occasions, pretty consecutively though. And I started feeling really sick. I started sweating and I started feeling very nauseous. So at 11 p.m., two hours before the race, I decided, well, I really want to do this big 20, but if I feel really sick, I, I am not going to push it. So at 11, I decided, okay, I'm going to take an, an hour nap. I'm going to nap from 11 to 12. And if at 12 o'clock I wake up and I still feel terrible, I might have to start considering not doing this race. Thankfully, I took that nap and I woke up at 12 and I felt better. I didn't feel good, but I felt better. I didn't feel that. I didn't feel the sweats and the nausea. I just felt very, very weak, like very beat up. So I decided I was going to do the big 20. So we did the big 20. Now. I am not going to blame how terrible I played in pro wrestling on on me being sick. Uh, that was not a matter of me being sick. That was a matter of I didn't execute. I went into pro wrestling with a with a definitive plan, and the plan for pro wrestling was to not take any chances to get counted out. Like if I think I was going to get counted out, I'm going to get back into the ring, even if my opponent goes back into the ring and it takes longer. I am not going to get counted out. And pretty much when the Big 20 started, I abandoned that plan completely and I went for like the fastest strats possible, which were very, very risky. And what ended up happening was that I game over it a bunch of times and I had to start over. Uh, in pro wrestling, if you get counted out, you lose and you have to start from Starman again. So, and that happened and I lost eight and a half minutes doing that. But that was not because I was sick or I, I didn't have... I had trouble focusing or, or, or anything like that, even though I did feel like I had a lot. I had to really try very hard to focus because <laughs> my full focus just wasn't there. But I don't blame pro wrestling or anything I did in the Big 20 on me being sick. That I'm not going to use that as, as an excuse. Um, but honestly, after pro wrestling, I think everything went pretty well. Like I, 
I'm trying to remember the games. My memory and my just brain has been very foggy. Uh, but everything after that, Galaga went good. Uh, Magic Darts went good. Even Indiana Jones, we got a first try RNG manip. And it went very good. And that was like one of the main things that I was so afraid of. But I guess since pro wrestling went so bad, I kind of didn't even think about Indiana Jones that much. And it just worked. So everything went well until I would say Gauntlet. Gauntlet, I, I missed a key in in the first treasure room where, you, where all the treasure is at. You're supposed to grab the key first and then find the exit. And again, my brain just wasn't all there and I saw the exit and I just didn't get the key. So when you get to the room with the four keys, I only have three keys I couldn't get through. And apparently there's another key in that room but I didn't know about it. So I started the entire run over. So we lost about, I think we lost like a minute and a half or two minutes in Gauntlet. And then <clears throat> the only other time that uh that things went wrong was Mega Man 5 I missed Crystal Skip and Crystal Skip it got in my head Crystal Skip is in case you don't know it's that little super arrow trick where I die on purpose in a certain spot in Crystal Man stage and you have to execute that in a specific way like you have to die in a specific pixel and if you don't execute that and you run out of super arrows you have to either do the Crystal Man stage which I never learned how to do or game over so you could get you know your crystal arrows back i was trying to kill things to see if i could get some weapon drops and it didn't happen uh, so we lost about i'd say two or three minutes doing that because i thought about it so much i'm like okay i'm in crystal man stage and i have five lives so if i screw this up i have to die five times the game over and it got in my head and i just i panicked and i just didn't execute and i ran out of super arrow and and what happened happened but I would say I am pretty happy with the rest of the run. It was a Rockin' Cats PB. I, I realized that after. I think I PB'd Rockin' Cats for like five seconds. Um, as far as how I felt throughout the run, I would say throughout most of the first half of the run, I felt you know not great, but not terrible. But by the time, I remember this very distinctly. By the time I got to Magic Kingdom and I got to the Thunder Mountain part with the train, um, first off, I got Station 4, so if you've never run Magic Kingdom before, if you get Station 4, that's the easiest one. All you have to do is make three lefts, and you can literally not touch it again, and it'll take you straight to Station 4. So that, to me, was like a break, so I was able to drink water and stuff. But for some reason, that stage and the movement of that stage was the first time it really started making me dizzy and really started messing with me. So I actually put my head down for that part, and... uh. And just to let you know, I had like the setup that I had here. I didn't have my head my headset on. I had all the lights off. I had the volume very low. I tried to make it as comfortable for myself as possible. Cause again, I just wasn't I wasn't feeling well. And uh and that I remember that affected me a lot. And I remember the Guardian Legend, you know, the first Guardian Legend stage, uh, Corridor Zero, how it moves really fast. That messed with me too. That kind of made me a little nauseous and, and sick feeling. But I got through and I'm super proud that I'm perhaps the one and only person that has ever done one of these big tournaments with COVID-19. I was able to actually, not only was I able to do the big 20 on COVID-19, but that was a PB run. That was my best big 20 full run out of the three I did. And I brought it back from like 17 minutes behind. So I am super happy about that, even though I haven't really been able to enjoy it because I've been so sick lately. Uh, I am super happy about that. Uh, now as far as like detailed COVID-19 stuff like my symptoms and stuff like that uh, I am very grateful to not have gotten a serious case of it uh, my symptoms I didn't I never had I never had fever uh, although my temperature did get elevated but I'm a person that runs very cold my normal temperature is 97 degrees Fahrenheit like literally 97 like 0. 0.0 and I was running like the highest my temperature ever got that I measured was 98.6 which is the normal uh temperature which is uh is normal for most people but for me it's an elevated temperature but I didn't I never felt chills or fever or body pain or or shortness of breath or I never lost my sense of taste and smell thankfully so what I did have was a lot of coughing, a lot of head congestion, 
and sinus congestion and runny nose and stuffiness and just a fogginess, <clears throat> a lot of fatigue. Uh, my eyes were itchy, like I've had allergies for a while. My, my throat hurt for a couple days too. Uh, but mostly it was the cough and just being very fatigued and, and by no means am I fine now. I'm good enough now to be able to make this video because I could actually talk and not go into a, a huge coughing fit, which, you know, just two or three days ago I couldn't do this. I feel good enough to, to be able to do this at least right now. So I, I think the worst of it is behind me. I think I'm in, I'm in the recovery stage. Uh, but I, I don't feel 100%. I'm not healthy. I don't have like my, my full appetite. Um, but thankfully, I think I'm going to be okay. And I think we've gone through the, the absolute worst of it. So, again, thank you all for everybody who reached out to me and had a nice words to say and encouragement and, and support. And, and I super, super, like, bottom of my heart appreciate it. Thank you all so much. Uh, as far as the stream goes, I don't know when I can stream again. Streaming takes a lot of energy from me and a lot out of me. And right now I just don't have a lot of it. Uh, I don't, I think now I'm actually going to maybe, I've been isolated for 10 days. I have been literally like 99.9% .9 of the time in this room for the past 10 days. And so... <clears throat> Since it's been 10 days since the onset of symptoms to today's the 10th day, I could I think I could finally at least not isolate starting tomorrow. But uh, streams, I don't know when they're going to start again. I really want to soon. I don't know when I'm going to go back to work again. I don't know if work is going to want a, a negative test result or not. I, I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm okay and I'm feeling so much better and and that's the important part now as far as what i'm going to do in the future i don't really know i obviously everything i've ever done before like my main speed runs are still on the table <coughs> excuse me i still want to do monk's adventure i still want to do more bloody wolf i want to try to improve the world record uh i want obviously zelda 2 is something i'm going to focus on again because i really want to get a 76 uh, that is going to be one of my main goals. I still want to improve Zelda 1. I still want to get better at Link to the Past. I want to relearn Link's Awakening DX because, like, I don't know if any if you all know this, but my ultimate goal as a speedrunner was to run all the Zelda games. And that's kind of been derailed because I've had so many tournaments and so many other games. And I still want to do that as an ultimate goal. I want to speedrun all of the Zelda games. I want to be the first person to do that, but it's a very massive, massive undertaking. So, and right now, if I even want to think about moving on to the next game, which is Ocarina of Time, I have to, I have to get good at Link to the Past. I'm not, I am not happy with where I am in Link to the Past. I feel like I could be so much better, and I have to relearn Link's Awakening DX. So, we have to do that. And then another thing I've always wanted to do. And it's the one thing I've been kind of practicing a little bit on the side whenever I do have some energy is I want to learn all the Mega Man games 1 through 11. Not Mega Man X, the classic series. And the fact that I did the Robot Masters for Mega Man 5 for this Big 20 and I did the Mega Man 6 Robot Masters for Big 20 number 9 and I did Mega Man 2 any percent and Robot Masters before and I've done Mega Man 1. It's made me, it's pushed me now to try to learn three and four which are the two that i don't know so i've already learned mega man 4 mega man 4 is hard <laughs> mega man 4 is a very strange speed run to me because it starts off so incredibly difficult but then it gets very easy once you get past a certain point in the run it's very easy uh but it, it it's been very frustrating for me and i don't know if it's because i'm just not all there right now but but I, I finally got it down a little bit. I think I could do Mega Man 4 runs. Um, so then, of course, eventually I want to learn Mega Man 3. I absolutely love Mega Man 3. It's one of my favorite games ever. And I want to do that. And then eventually I want to do 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I want to do all of them. So I'll do 7 on the Super Nintendo. I'll do 8 either on the Sega Saturn or the PS1. I think right now I have an easier time put, playing it on the PS1. Although I think the Saturn version is superior. 
Uh, but I want to get a, a that flash card, the sat the satiator, the sat whatever it's called for that, so I could be able to run. It's kind of like a flash card for the Saturn. Uh, and then Mega Man 9 and 10, there's so many different ways I could do those two. I could do them on Steam. I could do them, uh, I could hook up like an Xbox 360 or the Wii and get them there. So many options for that. And then Mega Man 11, I could also do it on Steam or the, I have it on the Switch. I have it on the PS4. I have it on Steam. I have it like everywhere and I haven't even played it. <laughs> and I have it on three different platforms. So... That's kind of, and then there's always random stuff, and I know the Scathlon's going to come up, and I'm probably going to want to do that too, so a lot of stuff coming up, and then other random games, and I have to redeem some some game redemptions for Blue and for Emma, which I haven't done yet. I have to come and get around to that. I have not forgotten. Uh, it's just, there's obviously a lot of stuff going on now, so I think that's going to do it. This has gone on for, what, 21 minutes? This has gone on really long. <laughs> I appreciate everybody for watching this and again for your concerns and your and your really nice messages. Thank you all so much and I hope everybody is doing well and I hope to see you all again on stream soon whenever I have the energy to do that again. So you're all awesome. Thank you all so much and I will see you around. What's up?